Whether you're walking down State Street, having lunch on a patio, or strolling along the beach, you've probably seen someone smoking a cigarette. That's a sight you will see less of in Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara just took a huge step in becoming a clean, healthy, smoke-free city. After months of discussion and public input, the city council unanimously voted to adopt a new ordinance that bans smoking in public places. I think they've come up from a public health perspective with a very um, far-reaching ordinance. They're basically saying, you can't smoke in public. And what's very exciting about that is we join almost the entire south coast of California. We reviewed laws in place in different cities, different approaches, and we really wanted to find an approach that would work the best for Santa Barbara and meet our needs. Smoking is defined to include tobacco, marijuana, and electronic vaping devices. With this new law in place, what that means for the public is that smoking is no longer allowed in public areas. So this includes sidewalks in commercial and residential areas throughout the city, parks, beaches, Stearns Wharf, the harbor walkways, outdoor recreational areas, uh, outdoor plaza areas of the library. It also includes city-owned public parking structures, parking lots, and paseos that lead to the downtown area. It also includes outdoor dining areas before 10 p.m. Restaurants can, however, choose to allow smoking after 10 p.m. Other areas where smoking will still be allowed includes bar patios at all hours and on the municipal golf course between the 1st and 18th holes. This new law was developed to address problems and concerns of Santa Barbara residents in relation to smoking, with one of the major issues being the impact it has on our environment. Cigarette butts can be pretty damaging to the ocean environment. You'd think that they're just an extension of kind of like the paper portion of the cigarette, but they're actually made of plastic. So they're these tiny pieces of plastic that end up in the sand, they end up in our creeks and streams, they end up in our estuaries, and eventually we all know now that it is going out to the ocean at some point. The last cleanup that we did, a coastal cleanup day, um, just at East Beach, there were 1,300 cigarette butts that we picked up in a span of just three hours. But what I see walking around the harbor uh, here is a lot of cigarette butts on the sidewalks. Uh, those are right three feet away from our harbor. Uh, those get uh, pushed, they get windblown, they get thrown into the water, and that water goes out into our oceans. We have local seafood living and thriving here in, in Santa Barbara in our channel and all that, those cigarette butts go out into that uh, channel. And uh, also our, our marine birds, uh, they don't know what they're picking up when they pick up a cigarette butt, uh, and, and who knows what they're, that, how that is affecting them. By adopting this ordinance, the city hopes to not only see a major reduction in the amount of cigarette butts that end up in our streets, creeks, and beaches, but also a reduced risk to public safety in the way of fires, particularly on Stearns Wharf. We have an additional concern, and that is the entire wharf is made out of wood, and so fire is a big concern with the cigarettes as well, when people discard them and they smolder and can cause fires. Unfortunately, fires caused by cigarettes on the wharf are all too common, including three that happened in just one day this past spring. One of the largest fires occurred in 2002, when a portion of the Nature Conservancy building was destroyed. That was determined by the fire department to be started by a cigarette, and instead of just smoldering, it burst into flame. Another impact smoking has on our community is exposure to secondhand smoke. It's been shown as early as 1981 that secondhand smoke can cause cancer of the lung. And uh, more recently, around 1986, it's been shown that it also can cause coronary heart disease and stroke. So it's conclusive that uh, secondhand smoke has serious side effects and, and can cause serious diseases. Uh, as in adults and in children, unfortunately. In children, it's even worse. They do, when they're exposed to secondhand smoke, they can get lung irritation and lung disease and uh, irritation of the eyes and even uh, increase, increased frequency of uh, ear infections. Going forward, the city is actively working to inform the public about the new ordinance. We're going to start mostly with education so that the, the public and the businesses know that it's no longer allowed anywhere on the wharf and we'll eliminate the designated areas and we're working right now with city administration on signage so we have a consistent message throughout the city about limitations on smoking. 
Another way the city has been informing the public about the new law is through various programs like the Ambassadors on State Street and Volunteers in Policing, who interact with residents and visitors on a daily basis. When we see people smoking, we approach them very gently, very cautiously, uh, and respectfully ask them to um, stop smoking. We inform them that it's now for about three, four weeks. Um, this has been a city ordinance that um, is ongoing. Gratifyingly have 99% compliance so far. People uh, are very good about understanding why this ordinance came about. The city will use verbal warnings and public education as the primary means of enforcement. It's up to each of us to understand the law and smoke away from public areas. By making Santa Barbara smoke-free, the city hopes to provide a healthy, family-friendly, clean environment for both residents and visitors. I think that this will definitely greatly reduce the amount of cigarette butts that we find. Um, on the county beaches, it's already a rule that you are not supposed to be smoking, and we find drastically less. So hopefully we can get a unified front of Santa Barbara's coastlines and make it so that we're not finding these tiny pieces of plastic that are eventually going to photodegrade into these even smaller pieces and be really damaging for the environment. We get tourists from all over the world here. It is a pristine area, you know, it's beautiful Santa Barbara, God's country, right? And when there's cigarette smoke, people are inhaling that, they're smelling that, and it affects the experience. Uh, and we are a beautiful location. We have beautiful beaches, we have beautiful trees, flowers, and that smoke has a, a negative effect.